Why did you choose to go into the military? I chose to go to the military because when I was in high school during that period, for the first time, the Navy announced that they would open the Naval Academy to women. Before that, only men could go to the Academy. And I was a bit of a tomboy in school, and uh, just the idea of going to the Academy because it wasn't like just going to a college. Because when you go to one of the service academies, you have to do all the academic requirements of college, um, but you kind of have to major in Navy at the Naval Academy, take a lot of Navy nautical classes, but you also have to do a lot of physical, meet a lot of physical requirements, you know, running and obstacle course and push-ups and that sort of thing, and you also have a lot of military requirements, like marching with a, a rifle on your shoulder and going aboard ships in the summer for training. And when I heard about this opportunity, that it was open to women, it sounded like a real challenge to me. And I hadn't any military experience in my family, but my dad was a true patriot. He really taught me to love the country, our country. So when I heard about this opportunity, I just really wanted to go. Um, where did you serve and like what countries and states? Well, when I was in the Navy, um, things have changed and I think they've changed for the better because women today who go into the Navy can do just about everything that the men can do. So if you were to decide to go into the Navy, and you do great in the Navy because the Navy likes bright young women, um, you could do whatever you wanted. You could go aboard a submarine. You could fly any of the Navy's, um, any of the jets. You could command on a ship. Um, you go into the Marine Corps. But when I was at the Academy, although they let us into the Academy, it was still restricted as far as what they would allow women to do. So some of those opportunities weren't there for me. So when I graduated, the first thing I did was I was stationed in Washington, D.C. as part of the um, Navy's administrative board. And I served there for a few years, and from there I went to San Antonio, which was a joint command, meaning all the branches of service were there. So most of the time I was in the Navy, I was really on, on shore. I wasn't aboard ship. But I did have a few nice experiences, including one stunt where I was on um, a destroyer for four weeks, the USS Iowa, and that was really exciting. I flew over to Germany, I met the ship in Germany, and we came back to Norfolk, Virginia, and that was terrific. But those who were aboard the ship for the, for the longer amount of time, they had been on that ship probably maybe four or five months before I got on. So by the time we got back from Germany, um, we came into Norfolk, Virginia, some of those young enlisted folks they had families now. Some of them, their wives had given birth to babies. So when a ship comes back into port, it's just so exciting because the bands are waiting for them right there on the pier to welcome them on, and everybody comes on the deck of the ship, and so they're slowly bringing that ship back into the harbor, and the band's playing, and kids are jumping up and down and cheering, and it's just an overwhelmingly exciting, um, proud moment to just have anything to do with the Navy.